Coming up on this episode of The Power of Real Estate. You're not going to be everybody's cup of tea. That's the other thing I had to learn is that if somebody unfriends me, that's okay. Moving on to someone else. There's always other people in line that we, what might be a better fit. Hey, Michelle, are you ready? Let's rock and roll, Jimmy. <laughs> are you okay? <laughs> I just tried something new. <laughs> She spent over 20 years as a successful realtor and realtor coach, recipient of over 40 sales, leadership, and literary awards. From the legendary Music Row in Nashville, this is The Power of Real Estate with Michelle Moore. Hello, hello, hello. All right, welcome to the show. I'm here in the studio with producer Jimmy. How are you today? What is up? (laughs) Yo, yo. (laughs) All right, so I'm excited about today's show. You know, that's what's so great about getting to decide what the topics are, Producer Jimmy. I get to be excited about everything. <laughs> you do. And you, you never share the topics with me, so I have no idea what we're talking about. I know, right? Well, that's because that way I get the, the shock and the awe and the authentic, you know, like, oh, uh, well, let's see. I hadn't thought of that. Or when you when you laugh, it's authentically the first time you've heard it, like you've taught me. You know? Yeah, that's true. You can't recreate it. That's right. All right. When you hear something a second time, you're like, oh, <laughs> that's funny. The first time you're like, ah! <laughs> you need to sit down or something? <laughs> All right. Well, you taught me that. That's a good, and it's a good point. I mm-hmm. noticed that. <laughs> All right. Today we're going to talk about three strategies for a successful Facebook page. So when I say page, now here's the thing: I I don't really care if you're doing a business page or a personal page, but I personally prefer the personal page. I see a lot of people set up a Facebook business page, and they don't work it. They set it up. They put a lot of effort into it at the beginning, maybe for a day or two. I don't know. <laughs> and then For a whole day or two. Yeah. And then, maybe even a month. And then guess what? They neglect it. All that for nothing. So, look, again, you know, I always say pick something and just do it really well. And if you're not going to be able to do a personal page and a business page really well, then just do one really well. And so for me... I have added a couple of business pages on Facebook, like I've got Real Estate Coaching Simplified.com. If you're listening, you should be following that page because we do put different content on there than what I put on my personal page. But it's one of those things where nothing gets as much attention, though, as my personal page. So we're going to talk about three strategies for a successful Facebook page. The only thing I want to say, too, is that when it comes to your real estate business, just make sure that you're compliant with whatever advertising rules and laws that your commission, your real estate commission requires. And so those vary by state. You want to stay up on those and make sure that if you're putting like a home that's up for sale, you want to make sure that you're putting up whatever information that, like I said, your commission requires. So we're talking about three strategies for a successful Facebook page. Let's get started. The first one is, number one, be your authentic you. Okay, so what I mean by that is you don't want to say things that you don't believe And you just, you know, you want to be authentically you. I think people know when you're being the authentic you. I think that's kind of my secret, Producer Jimmy, actually, is that people really connect with me because I'm just authentically me. I'm not trying to be anything I'm not. I am naturally funny. So I'm funny on the show. I'm funny in person. I'm funny at home. And I feel like I'm I'm halfway writing a Dr. Seuss book right now. And I'm I'm funny when I'm alone. (laughs) They appreciate my sarcasm. (laughs) <laughs> That's what I, I use Facebook for. Uh, yes, you do. And it is, it's good. And to show off your uh, admiration for Elvis. Yeah, that, that's who. That's I mean, right. You know, yeah. Gotta love the king. That's right. <laughs> I love it. Gotta love the king. So be your authentic you and people will appreciate And look, you're not going to be everybody's cup of tea. That's the other thing I had to learn is that if somebody unfriends me, that's okay. Moving on to someone else. There's always other people in line that we, what might be a better fit. Or, and, or if not, I'll find someone. I will hunt you down. Wouldn't it be <laughs> neat, though, if Facebook would let you know if somebody unfriended you? Because you have to kind of find it out yourself. Yeah. Because it doesn't give you a notice or anything. Yeah, you just you look at your friend's numbers. And you're so. Like, you're like, hey, wait a minute. I haven't heard from her in a while. Oh, she's no longer my friend. <laughs> Actually, I had somebody. It was that cousin of mine, and she made some kind of negative remark about something I posted. But nobody wants to see that. And I was like, okay, I'm kind of over you anyway, so I unfriended her. <laughs> We're no longer related. That's right. <laughs> Nut. Uh, 
<laughs> I love it. All right. So we're talking about three strategies for a successful Facebook page. Number two, look at the number of friends that you have. This one cracks me up. So, you know, I recently uh, taught at a class, right? And so it doesn't matter if you're speaking, teaching, whatever. I'm going to want as many people in the room as possible. So if we have, you know, 200 chairs. I want 200 bottoms in the seats, right? I'm going to be there teaching or speaking or whatever, even if it's just 20, right? So mine's will have the 200. So that's kind of the same equivalent for you when it comes to your Facebook friends. I had a guy one time in a, in a speaking event that I was invited to. They were a book club and they had been reading Selling Simplified, my book. And um, so they invited me and asked me to come and speak after the month after they had read it. And so I came and this guy raised his hand and he was asking me some questions about his blog and his website. And, and I said, okay, and so you share those. How do you promote your blog? He goes, well, I share it on, you know, Facebook. And I said, oh, great. Well, how many, how many friends and followers, you know, what, what are your your Facebook numbers? And because he was really putting a lot of time and effort and energy into his uh, website and his blog and all of this stuff. And he said, I've got 356. And it was like, uh, didn't see that coming. And, uh, and he was proud of it. <laughs> but I said, why do you only have 356 people? And he was, he said, well, why do you ask that? Like, is that bad? You say that like that's bad. I was like, well, it's not good. <laughs> You know, you want Facebook allows you to have 500 friends, and then after that, you can have followers. And so, on your personal page, is it 500 or 5,000? 5, 5,000. Did I say 500? You said 500. Sorry. Okay. And so it's 5,000. And so, why wouldn't you be, uh, you know, uh, friending people that are real estate agents in your area? especially if you're planning on sharing about listings that are coming up, maybe stagers. I'm friends with United Structural Systems. I follow their Facebook page. I'm friends with the with Robert Elam, who is their main, you know, big guy that I know here that's been with them for over 15 years. People that are in the industry, home inspectors that I've friended and, you know, Michael Miller, people like that that are in the business also that are kind of like your affiliate type things because you never know who they're talking to as well. They might have a friend or family member. They're talking to other realtors. So those are people that, you know, that can be part of your strategy to helping you sell and getting the word out about maybe a home that you that you're looking for, a certain kind of home or price point in a certain area or homes that you already have listed, things that are going on. So that just all works together, right? So come up with your strategy about who do you want in the audience? Maybe half the audience is people that are looking to buy, sell, build, or invest at some point. But then the other half of the audience could be realtors that are actually helping people every day buy, sell, build, or invest in real estate, right? And so just think about that. The other thing is Facebook. So keep in mind, in this case, we're talking specifically about Facebook, but every platform, every social media platform has a different kind of strategy that goes with it. So for example, Twitter, you want to be tweeting, you know, anywhere from four to eight times a day, maybe even 10 times a day. It's got a different pace. It's a completely different type of platform. Facebook, one time a day. That's the rule. I, everything I read says one to two, I wouldn't even do a second time. I almost never post a second time. When you look at my Facebook page, you're going to see that I have more likes. I have more interaction a lot of times than most people. The reason is because I don't post something else. And then that new post starts competing with the post that I just posted, you know, six hours ago. Well, I didn't give that post enough time and chance and effort to really kind of take off. So I find that either early in the morning, posting like it at six o'clock in the morning, or maybe like um, seven or eight at night tends to really get some great engagement. I will post something and then, like I said, I won't post for another 24 hours or so. And then I don't post and run. So there's another bonus strategy here. Don't post and run. Don't post. People like and comment, ask a question, whatever, and then you don't interact. Because then the more interaction you're having, Facebook recognizes that and says, oh, Michelle is posting some things of significance. They're looking for not just content. Facebook wants good content. And the way that they analyze that with their algorithms is the interaction, how many likes, how many comments, what's going on here. And so that's why you also want to make sure that you are interacting with those that are interacting with you. So you've posted something, someone asked a question about it, answer the question. And so, but when you go on and, and post another something, another, then it's going to start competing and either burying this post or the new post won't get much interaction because that, that first post is still getting uh, quite a bit of traction and it'll end up just not being seen by many people on that 
that second post. So you want to make sure that you're, you know, you're really taking into consideration your platform and how many times you should be posting and interacting or posting new posts on there. And the other thing I do really is try to not only have new content, I don't talk about, oh, look at me, I make it about other people. So make sure that you're making it about the people that are your friends and all that kind of stuff. Not look at what I posted. It's more like, who do you know that might be looking for a home that is in, you know, such and so city or town or neighborhood in this price point. It's it's brand new on the market. And if they're interested, we wouldn't want them to lose it. Like make it about the other people. And so, um, so that's, that's some good stuff. So you're saying when I have breakfast, I should take a picture of your food, not mine. (laughs) No. (laughs) People don't do that a lot now, but a few years back that everybody did that. Everybody. It's like, like, I don't care what you're having for dinner. I can tell you right now, I've never done that. (laughs) Oh my goodness. (laughs) I'd have more fun watching paint dry. (laughs) I love it. All right. Well, I hope this has been helpful. I'm sure it has. Just take those pieces of advice and build from there. Those are some great strategies for you to have a successful Facebook page. And I'll see you next time right here on The Power of Real Estate. Yay! And this is with Michelle Moore. Realtors, if you're ready to jumpstart your business, Michelle has your realtor coaching covered at realestatecoachingsimplified.com. Everything from coaching online teachings to in-person programs. Join us next time for The Power of Real Estate with Michelle Moore.